Hello everyone, my name is Vinay Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Pigou Wei's price of flexibility theory. According to this theory, in free market, we can automatically achieve full employment equilibrium. According to this theory, in free market, we can automatically achieve full employment equilibrium. Free market means when no intervention of government, demand and supply control of prices and income. So, according to this theory, when there is no intervention of government, forces of demand and supply automatically achieve full employment equilibrium. Full employment equilibrium means where labor demand is equal to labor supply. In this equation, N is number of workers employed. Q is the fraction of income which we earn in form of wages and salary. Y is national income. W is the money wages. If Y is given, then N and W have an inverse relation. That means when money wages increase, our employment will fall. We will hire less number of people. Obviously, our wages cost will increase. On the other hand, if money wages fall, number of employment will increase. We will hire more people because our wages cost will fall. Our main motive achieve full employment point. Currently, we have underemployment. That means labor demand is less, but supply is more. In order to achieve full employment point, we reduce wages. As wages reduce, cost of production fall. Cost of production fall, prices fall. Prices fall, demand increase. Demand increase, output increase. Output increase, employment also increase. Obviously, in order to produce more, we need more people. As employment increase, that means labor demand increase and become equal to labor supply. Eventually, we achieve full employment point. So, here you can see reduction in wages and price could lead to full employment equilibrium point. Now, we understand this theory with the help of our diagram. Here we have two diagrams A and B. Both are connected with each other. On x-axis of both diagram, we have employment and y-axis, we have real wage rate. As we know, formula of real wage rate is W over P. W is nominal or we can say money wages, P is price. That's why real wage rate we represent by W over P. DD is labor demand curve, SS is the labor supply curve. E is our full employment point because at this E point, labor demand is equal to labor supply. And this MPL curve shows marginal productivity of labor. Suppose our initial equilibrium point is E, where labor demand is equal to labor supply. That means initially we have full employment equilibrium point. Now suppose real wage rate increase. As real wage rate increase, the labor supply exceed the labor demand. Now you can see labor demand is only this one, but labor supply is this one. Here you can see labor supply is more than labor demand. If labor supply is more than labor demand, that means more people want to work, but we don't have so much jobs. As a result, real wage rate will fall. Eventually, we will achieve this full employment point E. So, here you can see without government intervention, we have achieved this full employment equilibrium point. So, according to this theory, in free market where there is no government intervention, forces of demand and supply will automatically achieve full employment point. So, this is all about PIGU wage price flexibility theory. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.